Hi everyone and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We're so happy you're here. Let's start by thanking our friends at Shortform for sponsoring the video. Just like us, their mission is to spread big ideas to people worldwide. They do this through their super-powered summaries of non-fiction books and articles. We particularly love that Shortform Summaries always comes with a one-page resume, a chapter-per-chapter -chapter guide, and a series of open-ended questions that facilitate learning and discussion. They publish new stuff every week, and subscribers can vote on what books should be covered next. What's not to love about that? Finally, it's super easy to find new inspiration since everything is divided conveniently into categories. Our favorite categories are self-development, psychology, and entrepreneurship. One of our favorite short-form summaries is the crystal clear, insightful, and concise summary of Mindset by Carol Dweck. Perhaps short form is something for you as well. To get a five day free trial, join short form through my custom link, which you'll find in the video description. And with that said, let's dig in. Today's big idea is presented in New York Times best selling book, Drawdown. The book is edited by Paul Hawken and has the subtitle, The Most Comprehensive Plan Ever Proposed to Reverse Global Warming. Paul Hawken is a man on a mission. A mission to not only stop climate change, but reverse it. Back in 2013, Hawken, therefore, assembled a team of leading scientists and policymakers from around the world in a project group. Together, they embarked on a journey to map, evaluate, and analyze the top 100 most applicable, actionable, and scalable strategies to reverse global warming. Here's our take on the essential insights conveyed in the book. Number 1. Clean Energy a vital part of the solution. Nearly 80% of the world's electricity comes from fossil fuels, such as coal, gas, and oil, all of which are responsible for releasing massive amounts of pollution into the atmosphere. It is therefore crucial that we radically change this. The key to this transformation is to turn towards renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and wave energy. And the good news is that while the convenience and availability of renewable energy are increasing, the cost is decreasing, making it the preferable choice on all parameters. In a nutshell, the era of fossil fuels is over. There's a new king in town and it's called renewable energy. Number two. Women and girls play an essential role. As a global climate solution, educating girls ranks sixth on the drawdown list. See, with education comes higher wages and improved health outcomes, including reduced infant and mortality rates. Providing widespread and rigorous education for girls is considered one of the best hopes for breaking intergenerational poverty. Further on to this closing, the gender gap can also help reduce emissions. See, when agricultural plots produce well, there is less pressure to deforest. And when regenerative practices replace chemical ones, the soil becomes a carbon storehouse. Number 3. What we eat matters. Now it's time to turn the focus to another huge culprit. Food waste. Global food waste is responsible for vast amounts of carbon dioxide entering the atmosphere annually. The problem is most significant in wealthy nations where restaurants serve oversized portions and unused groceries often end up in the trash can. Solutions for minimizing food waste include defining national goals for food waste reduction, restaurants and grocery stores taking responsibility for minimizing food waste, and each of us eating consciously. Other solutions include improved farming solutions, farmland restoration, and regenerative agriculture. Number 4. Sustainable Transportation A Significant Influence The transport sector is responsible for 23% of global emissions, with urban transport as the single greatest culprit. This is mainly due to the use of privately owned cars. The shift to public transportation therefore plays an important role. Unfortunately, getting people to trade the comfort and convenience of their car isn't easy. Therefore, public transportation is most successful where it is convenient, efficient, and attractive. And since an empty bus doesn't solve any problems, it is up to politicians and policymakers to set aside sufficient resources to invest in the needed infrastructure to make public transportation part of the solution. Number 5. Why it's not all bad There is no doubt that climate change is an overwhelming challenge. But according to Hawkins' drawdown team, some good can come out of it nonetheless. 
For example, educating women leads to greater gender equality. Recycling raw materials saves resources. Investing in infrastructure provides economic opportunities, and so on. And there you have it: the best-selling book, Drawdown, edited by Paul Hawken, in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care, and see you soon.